a random sample of 196 fish selected from a large fish population. The mean of the lengths in our sample is 50 centimeters. The population standard deviation for length is 7 centimeters. Find the 95% confidence interval for the population mean mu. Now, what's happening here? We're going to have two probability distributions. The first one that we're given is for the lengths in our fish population. So, what's happening here? Okay, our procedure is we're going to draw a fish from our population at random. So, when I measure its length, that's going to give me a random variable x. Then, attached to x is going to be a probability distribution. Okay, it'll have mean mu and standard deviation sigma. With that probability distribution, we can create another one. So the idea is going to be, instead of drawing one fish, we're going to randomly select n fish. And that's going to give us a sample of size n. Now, attach to that sample of size n, okay, well, we have the length of each fish in the sample. We could take the average or the mean. So here, our random variable instead is going to be x bar. So that's going to be when you pull a random sample of size n, you take the average of the lengths, that's going to be the number that we're measuring here. Now, attached to this random variable is going to be another probability distribution, which we call the sampling distribution of the mean, or the sample mean. Here, we're going to have a mean and a standard deviation. The mean for our new distribution is going to be the same as our old one, the population mean. The new standard deviation is going to be the old population standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size. Now, once we have these items nailed down, okay, we can go and create a 95% confidence interval. So the idea here, the way we interpret this, what am I going to do? We're going to draw a sample, okay, randomly of size n. We're going to take the mean of the lengths in that sample. Okay, that's what I'm going to call our number x bar here. So it's the mean for the sample. Then when I set up the confidence interval, that's going to mean if I repeat this procedure 100 times, 95 of those times we're going to have the actual population mean inside of this interval here, the confidence interval. Okay, another way to think of it, whenever I draw a sample, set up the confidence interval, there's going to be a 95% chance that the population mean lives in that interval. Now, our sample size is 196. That's greater than or equal to 30. So that means the sampling distribution for the mean is almost a normal distribution, so we treat it as such. What's our procedure for getting our 95% confidence interval? First step, we draw a random sample. We'll call the mean of the lengths in the sample, m. Then we'll have the standard deviation for the sampling distribution equal to standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. For the next step, okay, if I have a normal distribution, we're going to have a factor that goes with each level of confidence. So if I want 95%, the factor I use is 1.96. And finally, the conclusion is there's a 95% chance that the population mean is between m plus or minus 1.96 times standard deviation of our sample distribution. Okay, let's put some numbers to this. In our case, what do we have? We're going to have the mean of our sample is 50 centimeters. For the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the mean, we take population standard deviation, which is 7 centimeters, divide by the square root of the sample size. So since we have 196, square root's going to go to 14. Standard deviation of the sampling distribution for the mean is 1 half. Then my confidence interval is going to be given by 50 plus or minus. 1.96, our factor, times our one-half for the standard deviation. So there's going to be a 95% chance 
that the population mean mu is between 49.02 and 50.98 centimeters.